Last time we talked about Tom Staggs and the incredible vacuum left when he left the Disney company. This time we're going to talk about who could possibly replace Bob Iger as the next Disney CEO. Now we already know Disney is looking to fix the interactive content division and the media networks division with this next CEO. But we also know that Disney sucks at transitions. When Frank Wells passed away and Jeffrey Katzenberg wanted to become Disney president and Michael Eisner said no, well that's how we got DreamWorks. No! The only real successful transfer of power in the Disney company so far has been from Michael Eisner to Bob Iger, and even that was fraught with a lot of controversy. So who could replace Bob Iger? Where well, internally there are a couple of candidates. My big choice is Alan Horn. He's over the studios division right now, and every single movie you go to see that you love from Disney, whether it be Pixar, Marvel, Lucasfilm, it goes past Alan Horn. It's too old. You're right, Yoda, he is too old. As I talk to you, Alan Horn is 73 years old, and as the board is looking for that next CEO that could be there long term, he really probably doesn't fit the bill. Even though he is someone that I love and I would hope could be the next Disney CEO. So that takes me to Bob Chappick, who is 57 and replaced Tom Staggs atop the Parks Division. Now, I'm not really sure about Chappick. He ran the Consumer Products Division before going to Parks and Resorts, and Consumer Products was famously unprepared for the success of Frozen. I mean, Disney didn't expect it to do that well, but really they were famously unprepared for that. And also, Parks and Resorts have seen a lot more complaints come out since 2015. I don't know if that's necessarily Bob's fault. So let's go on to Ben Sherwood, who is 52. Ben Sherwood is currently the co-chairman of Disney Media Network. He was promoted in 2015 after running ABC News. During his time there, Good Morning America became the number one rated TV morning news program. We know it's because of you GMA is so much fun. I think Disney needs an internal candidate, and I think someone like Ben Sherwood would be able to really get the media part of that. He may not have the interactive side, but interactive has always struggled in Disney. So maybe he brings in someone else to help with that, and he's like Woody and Buzz. Making delicious hot schmoes. But there are also a few external candidates. The first one that everybody talks about is Sheryl Sandberg. Now Sheryl Sandberg has experience mainly on that interactive side of things. She She's the chief operating officer of Facebook. Before that, she was the vice president of global online sales and operations at Google. She's responsible for Google creating Google.org. But again, from 2008 to right now, she's been the chief operating officer at Facebook. And in between that time, how many times have you logged into Facebook and thought, you know, Facebook? That was a really good decision. Sheryl Sandberg sits on the board of Disney, but I don't think she really knows the company and could get that Disney magic. And my biggest concern with her is that if they bring her in, then it just becomes another company. But my second candidate, the one I like the most externally and it'll never happen, is Jeffrey Katzenberg. Katzenberg, of course, runs DreamWorks, and DreamWorks is currently being bought by Comcast. And it would never happen, but Disney could put up a rival bid for DreamWorks, bring that company under its umbrella, and give Katzenberg the job that he wanted, the job that made him go and form DreamWorks to begin with. Could you imagine Shrek and How to Train Your Dragon next to the princesses and Marvel and some of these other things? Disney would really be unstoppable. The universe is mine to command, to control. Now that I think of it, that would probably make Disney like a super villain. So it would still be great. But my biggest candidate, my actual realistic candidate, is Ben Sherwood, and I hope Disney goes that route. Get the media guy that's internal to fix your media problem, and you might still be able to retain some of that Disney magic. Who is your candidate for Disney CEO? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have a magical day.